my name is Clay Kreiner. I'm 19 years old and I skateboard. Um, I'm originally from Simpsonville, South Carolina. Just recently moved to San Diego, California. Beyond excited. Absolutely loving it out here. Um, started skateboarding when I was about eight years old. Got my first board for my eighth birthday and uh, it was kind of a wrap ever since. I grew up playing baseball, football, wrestling. Kind of followed the path of my, my dad. He coached those sports at my local high school, so that's kind of what I did. And um, got a skateboard, and slowly everything just kind of faded out, and it just became skateboarding, and now that's what I do every day. So, yeah, this year's going to be my uh, first X Games competing, and couldn't be more excited. It's uh, been years in the making, and, uh, you know, ever since a little kid that's watching it on TV and seeing your idols and... You know, I never dreamed that I would be in this position now, and uh, I couldn't be more stoked. And last year I was an alternate, so uh, pretty much if somebody would have gotten hurt, I would have been able to skate. Nobody got hurt, so I got to sit on the sidelines and watch the contest. And um, was supposed to get invited a few years back and broke my leg, was actually invited on the way to the hospital. So um, I'm really stoked to be finally going this year. I can't wait to skate. The Meg Ramp is the biggest ramp in the world. Um, and there's only a select few dudes that actually are even capable of riding the thing, you know, like 10 or 15 dudes that will actually hop on this thing. And um, there's only two permanent ones in the world, one here, as you can see behind me, and then the other one uh, a few hours away in Tehachapi, California, at uh, Camp Woodward. And um, Big Air wasn't a thing until, you know, about a decade ago really when Danny Way started to push the limits of skateboarding and what he thought was possible on a skateboard and stoked that he did so that guys like me and the other dudes that I ride with every day can ride this ramp on a daily basis. So right now we're at Bob Burnquist's house, one of two permanent mega ramps in the world. Um, this one gets the most use definitely out of, of both the mega ramps. Um, it's in uh, Bob Burnquist's backyard, dreamland, you know, it gets its name for a reason. And uh, yeah, so me and a few guys will come out here, try and get as many sessions as we can, take trips, you know, skating, get down to the bottom, cruise up with the boys in the car or the gator, motorcycle, whatever we can. And um, we've been trying to skate more and more. X Games is coming up in about a month. So uh, practicing every day, trying to get everything down. Uh, the mega ramp has two different gaps. You can either hit the 50 foot gap or the 70 foot gap. And uh, after you hit that, you hit a 28 foot quarter pipe where you can go anywhere to about 20 feet high out of that, so nearly 50 feet off the ground. And you're going at speeds of nearly 40 miles an hour as well. So, yeah, just got padded up, ready to skate the mega. Uh, like I said, it's the biggest ramp in the world, so, you know, the pads kind of match. Always rocking knee pads and elbow pads for sure, um, as well as pads to cover my hips and my tailbones. And then uh, throw on these gloves. You're going like 40 miles an hour. It'll just melt your skin right off whenever you touch down on the ramp. And a lot of the guys also wear a chest and back protector as well while riding Mega. And a dome piece, of course. Always got to have the helmet. <laughs> yeah, as well. When you're riding Mega, you don't just ride uh, any ordinary board. So this is my regular board right here. Um, the trucks are the exact same size as the board. My trucks are pretty loose, you know, I can move around. And then uh, on this board, I r already ride a, a wider board. It's about a half an inch wider than the board that I'm riding. And then the trucks are a good bit bigger. It's ind independent 215s, and they actually stick out actually stick out from the board a little bit you know just to help with uh, not being able to turn your trucks got to be super tight when you're going like 40 miles an hour so ride a lot bigger setup when you're skating mega getting ready to switch out my wheels got to switch over the wheels from my regular board to my mega board once we get the wheels on we'll be ready to go we're out here got started skating Taking a couple runs. Here comes the ride. <laughs> the ride up to the top. You. All right, come on, baby. 
Come on, baby. I gotta do a 900 today, okay, Pedro? I don't know, that's the goal at least. I'm on my 899th post on Instagram. So my next one will be 900. And I'm like, dude, I gotta do a 900 for my 900th post, right? I'm going so low, fuck it dude, I'm so overbailing. <laughs> Boom, stoked that you guys could see a session, see how we prepare for X Games and things like that. Fuck, I don't know what else I'm saying after that. What do I say? Glad you guys got to see a session, see how me and all the boys prepare for X Games. Uh, see a quick battle with a trick, finally make another 900 and uh, thanks for watching. Stay up, stay up, stay up.